Good afternoon, my cohort D families. I am recording this video for you because I would like to give a little more of a thorough explanation as to what I spoke this morning in reference to the iReady diagnostics, which your child will be taking this week. I understand some families had technical issues and connection issues, so I wanted to provide this short clip. That way it can explain to you step by step what your child is going to do this week. So I'm sharing my screen with you from my iPad. And if you have an iPad device, whether it's your own personal or the city iPad, on your iPad, you should have the icon that shows iReady. So it's this icon with the cube. On top, it's orange, and on the sides, it's lime green and teal. So if you have your own personal device, you can download that on the iPad. If you have the City iPad, it should be on the iPad already. If not, um, I'm not too sure if you're able to download it. However, if you cannot, please send me a message on Class Dojo so that way I can assist you with that. So there's different ways of getting into this iReady diagnostic assessment. And I'm going to show you the first way, which is through the iPad. Then I'll show you the other two ways, which would be through the computer. So first from the iPad device, you have the icon there. Everyone is going to receive today their login information. So when you open up the app, this screen comes up. It's requesting your child's information so that way they can get in. The way that families are gonna get their child logged in is through that orange monster. You're gonna click on the card that he's holding. It's blue with white lettering, it says K1 card login. So when you click on that, enter your class number. It's requesting the class number. So the class number is the special code which each and every one of you will receive. It's the general class code for all of my cohort D families. So it's 310708. Find your name. As you can see, it lists all of the students' names. The icons and the passwords were automatically generated. I did not have to do anything with that. So if you do not find your child's name on the first screen, there's the second screen. And if you move over to the right again, you'll find the third screen. So each and every one of my students' names is there. And you would simply click on their name. And then you would enter their passcode. So let me share a different screen. I'm going to actually log in as one of the students. Give me one moment. I just want to try to show this to you. So that way you get an idea of what it looks like. Choose a subject. Let me see if I can share my screen with you again. Okay, for some odd reason, it won't let me share my screen on my iPad. So I'm going to continue sharing my screen through the, through the computer. So let me get out of here. So the other way of logging in, there's two other ways. So the next way would be going to Google, typing in the search box, NYC DOE. Once you click on the first link where it says New York City Department of Education, it'll bring you to their homepage. 
on their homepage at the upper right hand corner, it says Teach Hub. Everyone should be familiar with this option because I've explained it to all the families since we started remote learning. It's your hub for everything from logging into Zoom to the Google Classroom to your through your child's New York City DOE student email address is how you're going to access the Teach Hub. So once you click there, the web page pops up where you would sign in with your child's username, which is their email address, and the password, which all of you have. If you do not remember it or if you need me to send it to you again, please reach out to me and I will gladly send you that information again. Now, just so you're aware, I was experiencing issues myself when I was trying to get into iReady through the computer. It depends on the system capabilities of your computer, where if you're using one web browser, it might say that there's an error message, which is what happened to me over the weekend. So I was playing around with different web browsers. I first tried it with Internet Explorer, which is this browser right here. So when I Googled it, I Googled iReady. And then it told me this here, that my internet browser is not supported. If you get this error message, do not panic. Just simply use a different web browser, okay? So going back to the Teach Hub, if you were to log in with your child's New York City DOE email address and their password, you can log in through, I'm gonna show you here, through the Teach Hub. So once you're in the Teach Hub, you would go under Clever. So if you don't have Clever, you would simply click on Elementary School at the top, and then you have Clever there. So you might need to put a heart icon on it so that way it's on your favorites on your homepage when you log in through the Teach Hub. So if you click on Clever, it'll show you iReady. So it's right here as well. So once you click on it, my dashboard is actually different from your child's dashboard because I'm logged in as a teacher. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use, let's see if my iPad is working now. Let me try to share this screen again through the iPad. Maybe it'll, it'll work, maybe it won't work. No, it's not popping up for some reason. So, I'm going to share my screen through the, through the computer. I'm actually going to log in as one of the students. So let me see if I can quickly do that right now. Okay, so I logged in as one of the students through Teach Hub. So this is another option as I was explaining before. You would click on Clever. After you click on Clever, it's gonna bring you to this page. And then it'll also have the iReady icon. So that's the app there. So once you click on it, it'll bring you- Choose a subject. For this week, we are only focusing on reading. So please do not touch math at the moment we're only doing reading and it has to be completed by the end of the week which would be friday november 20th okay so once you click on reading reading what happens it brings you to this page prior to click start on, diagnostic prior, prior start to, diagnostic prior to clicking on the green icon that says reading diagnostic with the brain on it i would like for everyone to just quickly watch the Video introduction, I think it's only like two minutes. Let me see if I can play it for you here. Hi, I'm Christine. I'm a national director at Curriculum Associates, and we are the iReady people. For the student, iReady serves two functions. Number one, it's an online diagnostic assessment that pinpoints math and reading skills down to the sub-skill level. And number two, it's online learning that caters to a student's specific needs, whether those needs are on, above, or below level. 
I'd like to share four things you need to know about iReady. Number one, the iReady online assessment is adaptive in nature. This means that students see questions based on how they're performing. If a student struggles, the questions get easier. If a student is breezing through, the questions become more challenging. Once a student completes the diagnostic, the teacher will know exactly what the student needs, so it eliminates the necessity to overtest our children, thus allowing more time for teaching. Number two, the iReady online instruction is personalized to the individual. Once a student completes the diagnostic, his or her results will differ from classmates, so we give each student their own pathway based on diagnostic results. If the student needs help with reading comprehension, that student will get lessons to help. If the student has geometry skills above grade level, that student will receive geometry content that's above grade level. Support for those who have gaps to fill, enrichment for those who are exceeding grade level expectations. Number three, iReady is not a grading tool. Your child won't get an A or C minus based on how they perform in iReady. iReady supports students, challenges students, gives students math and reading content that is right at their level iReady helps children to grow, but it is not used to assign grades. And number four, iReady is not designed to replace the teacher. In every school district, teachers are an irreplaceable asset. iReady supports teachers by helping group students with similar needs for targeted instruction, what we call differentiation. Once small groups are established, iReady's teacher toolbox is just one of the many resources that teachers may use to provide targeted instruction. But replace the teacher? Never. Thank you very much for watching this video. We look forward to seeing your students succeed with iReady. Okay, so that was the introduction video. So now that we've seen it together, we're gonna click Start Diagnostic. So just for families to keep in mind, as they are doing this reading diagnostic assessment, it's like the math test that you had given a few days ago on election day. You are not gonna help your child at all. What's great about this program is that they're able to listen to the question and to the answer choices just simply by clicking on the listening icon. So you don't need to do anything at all. You'll just sit there, watch them do it, complete it, and they'll be done. I'm gonna show you right now at the bottom of the screen, there's gonna be a progress bar. It'll say my progress. You're gonna to wanna to open it up with the arrow and they need to complete to 100%. Ideally, uh, children should do it anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. I actually spoke to one of my colleagues today that they have their blended children here in the classroom. They started giving it to their students here and they said it takes no more than 20 minutes. So if your child is actually able to get it done in one uh, sitting, then that is probably better as opposed to spacing it out day by day. Um, so just again, you're not helping your child at all. Please let them do it independently. If they need to listen to the question again or the responses, the answer choices, they can simply click on the listening icon and they can listen to it themselves. So it starts off by doing a sample and then it goes right into the diagnostic, the assessment that they are gonna be doing themselves. Are you working in your school building today? So the answer to this for all of my cohort D families would be no. And you click on continue. Progress bar is at the bottom. Hey there. My name is Plory. We are going to answer some questions today. But wait, but wait. What kind of questions? What if I don't know how to answer them? That's okay. I'll teach you. Let's start with this question. What do you use to see? Tap on the eyes. So this is the sample that they have your children doing. All of them do it this way. When you want to hear the question, press the big speaker button at the top of the screen. Now you try. Tap on the speaker button. It's actually having the children test it out themselves. So that way, if they have to repeat it, they do it independently. What do you wear on your head? Tap on the hat. So watch what happens if I touch something that's different. Try again. Try tapping on the hat. Speaker buttons play words or sounds. Tap on all three speaker buttons. Drums. Bell. Elephant. 
Tap on the picture of the elephant. So there's absolutely no reason for you to have to explain each answer choice to your child. All they have to do is just click on the speaker bucket button. Tap on the elephant. And they can listen to it themselves. Tapping on a speaker button plays words or sounds. Tapping on a picture chooses an answer. Now let's take a look at this question. Look at the pictures. Choose the picture of a cow. If you're done choosing your answer, tap on the orange done button. If you want to choose a different answer, tap on a different picture. Try tapping on a picture to choose an answer. Okay. Choose the picture of a cow. I'm going to stop this right here only because I'm not too sure if that's exactly where the assessment would begin. And I don't want to start the assessment for any child because, of course, they have to do it themselves. However, I just wanted to give a brief walkthrough as to what to expect for that iReady diagnostic. If you have any questions, please message me on ClassDojo. You have the whole week to work on this. If you feel like your child needs me one-on-one, -on -one, we can set that up and I can get on Zoom with them and I can do the reading diagnostic with them. So please do not hesitate. If you need help, just message me and I will be there to help you. Again, uh, this is to be done independently. Your child has to answer the questions on their own, just like how they did the math assessment. The great part is that you're just sitting there next to them listening to the program and they just have to pick the best choice and then based on that it will develop lessons for them based on their diagnostic once they complete it okay thank you families i really appreciate your help with this it has to get done this week which is why i did not assign any math or personal narrative writing this week okay thank you and enjoy the rest of your day